Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. And we finally caught a glimpse of her, the Princess of Wales, pepped, driving in a car. Well, she was being driven by her mother, Carol Miller Middleton, um, allegedly on the school run somewhere around Windsor. Uh, photos sold through Backgrid, which was interesting, appeared in America. They haven't been shown in, in the British press or TV, but have certainly been discussed. And uh, people talking about it, there she was finally, and um, looking reasonably well. Carol Middleton looking absolutely furious. Catherine managing a slight smile. Her hair looked lovely. She looked uh, fuller in the face, shall we just say. Plenty of people speculating that she might be on prednisone or something, steroid, something that um, uh, might be helping with whatever condition she is uh, struggling with. But anyway, there she was. And um, I wasn't going to read on her again for a while, but because she popped up literally as I um, uploaded the reading yesterday, here we are again. I'm going to just use the Apprentice Tarot. There's nothing fancy. I just want to know about this appearance. Was it forced out to show her face and to shut down the vicious rumors we were talking about yesterday? Or was this really just being pepped um photographer lying in wait and uh, getting lucky and selling photos to backgrid um so that's where we're heading with i'm going to do a celtic cross i'm going to look at it from catherine's point of view and um see what's uh, what's what um with this uh, we have heard subsequently that she will be at a rehearsal for Trooping the Colour on the 8th of June. That's a good few months down the line. We're in March now, so it's April, May, June, so it's three months' time. That's the first official event that she's listed as going to be attending. So that gives still plenty of time for her to convalesce, recuperate. Uh, it chimes with the reading that I did on... Uh, how she's going to be getting on in the next uh, six months and I just said it was going to take a, a past Easter I thought quite a few months past Easter before she would really be ready to um, be in the public eye again so that was interesting for me that kind of confirmed that energy that I was getting um, so Celtic Cross one more shuffle coming up from Catherine's point of view I'm going to look at this very brief appearance and I need to do shuffle one more and just see um, whether maybe we can figure out if this was them doing a bit of a um, a stunt, not a stunt, it's the wrong word, but whether it was deliberate, let, we need to shut all the silliness down. Uh, what can we do? We can uh, show her and uh, shut everyone up on the school run. She's looking well and uh, move on or whether this was genuinely an accident. That's what we're trying to figure out here. And let's remember that this is just tarot for fun and entertainment. All my opinion, it's all speculation. And I just read energy. And of course, there is a disclaimer in the box below. And we wish her well, of course, as um, very important that she does get the chance to recover and come back when she is ready and whatever is going on. Uh, we hope she gets through. Uh, we have the Five of Wands in reverse um, uh, as our underlying energy. And that is conflict and struggle. There might have been some disagreement about this. Um, some people saying, yes, you need to do this. And some people say, no, absolutely don't. Don't give them anything because it'll just make it worse. Um, so it's conflict, Five of Wands. And within a group, it's uh, it's always for me in these royal readings, it's conflict within a family group, the royal family. And um, as I say, tolerating but still disagreeing would, would be quite an apt description for the energy that I'm picking up through that card. That uh, they, I think that they have thrashed this out, and probably William's got an opinion about it, and Catherine's got an opinion about it, and Carol has, and so on and so on. And uh, they, they probably have uh, really um, 
argued over this uh, until they finally said, all right, this is what we're going to do. Um, I don't know who's the deciding voice. I haven't uh, figured that one out. It might show up. I haven't asked deliberately. Situation from her point of view with this appearance. It's PR. There it is. Peter wants. It's news management. Um, it's it, it's getting a message out. The page of wands is a messenger. It's good news, positive, um, enthusiastic. See, here I am. I'm well. I'm on the school run. Can't drive yet. But here's mum. Here I am. We're being sent a message. And I think that the message very powerfully being sent, and I keep saying this, I think that the reason we're getting this message at all is because of the children again that we don't want um, little so-and-so saying, my mummy says that kind of thing, going back to the kids or the kids uh, with online access, finding things, terrible things that they don't need to see. I think that's why we're getting this. So what's the, what's the challenge? What's the, uh, the difficulty for her right now? She is not able to just go away for six months and I'm sure it's six months she needs. And I remember saying this before we ever heard she was ill. I kept saying it in reading. She needs time out. She needs a holiday. She needs a break. She needs a long spa holiday. It's coming back vividly to me now. Four of Swords is retreating, healing, getting out of the public eye, recovering from something that's been very painful. Um, not only physically painful, the Four of Swords can be very much surgery, medical issues. It's one of the cards in the tarot that can indicate that kind of thing. You can see of, for obvious reasons why. There is the person who's been through it medically, but it follows a Three of Swords, which is heartache and sorrow and loss. So I think there might have been quite a few issues that happened all at once, a perfect storm kind of a thing that happened for her medically that had a very emotional component to it. I'm not going to get more graphic than that, but that's just what's coming through for me. She wants to be able to just disappear for a long time and heal, and she can't because of the flying monkeys and the nastiness. Uh, that has uh, have been uh, has been sent her way. So what's going on behind the scenes with this uh, appearance? Tell us, staged. What, there's the three of swords. <laughs> it's funny how you can sometimes sense a card in a reading, and here is the three of swords, and it's in reverse. She's trying to recover slowly, healing loss. Uh, less intense sorrow, apology and forgiveness. That's interesting. Uh, there's, there's been something. There's been something. I would say something in the family, something in the in the marriage, whatever. Um, something in her world that has been very hurtful. We know um, sources coming from California have caused a lot of pain. I don't need to uh, go but go there again. She's she's healing. Three of Swords in reverse. So this is not about um, manipulation and okay, we need to call the Paps because we've already been told. We've got the conflict about it. We've got the Page of Wands. Very definitely, we've got the Four of Swords in reverse. She wouldn't. She doesn't want to do this, but she felt that she had to get out there and show her face when she would rather have been hidden away. And that is what's going on behind the scenes, that she has really suffered something very difficult. And we know that because the message that just comes consistently through these readings, my readings and other people's readings as well. I have uh, caught a few um, around and about. Don't normally watch other readers because I try and keep my readings um, uh, just my my communication with upstairs uh, pretty clear but uh, yeah a lot of that energy coming through what's her goal with this with this appearance we got the queen of pentacles in reverse isn't it interesting something needs more attention and care homework imbalance she's sending out a message to people i'm okay I'm alive, I haven't disappeared, I haven't run away, I haven't left, never to be seen again. But I need time. I need time to recover, to get back my strength, um, to get back to the person that you know me as, that reliable person who's always there with a smile on her face, always immaculate, always um, perfectly dressed, always behaving perfectly. Right now she can't do that which is interesting this uh this image she's built of herself 
this perfect, uh, this picture perfect thing uh, is not uh, is not sustainable. That's a very interesting energy that's coming through that Queen of Pentacles in reverse. It's not sustainable long term. You can't be perfect forever. And I think she really went all out to be perfect. Um, and now she's going to have to be different. And I've, I've seen that energy, the full energy coming up in readings where they're going to do things differently. Maybe more relaxed, maybe more casual, maybe sometimes, yeah, she's put on a bit of weight or her hair's out of place or whatever. It's interesting because when you look at things archetypally and energetically, you see the opposite in California, who always looks crumpled and bedraggled, but thinks she's beautiful and perfect. Whereas Catherine is uh, absolutely impeccable always. And the enormous strain that's that's being put on her. And I think that that strain um, is showing. And I think she's telling us that I can't always be perfect. Um, so how have, has it been recently? As if we don't know. Uh, but let's see. Four of Cups. Um, just down. Fallen into a rut. Needing to self-evaluate. Recenter herself. Uh, contemplate things what's on offer in her life does she like it is she excited about the way her life is going or does she need to rethink things and find some new passion and new interest and I don't mean go and find new husband or whatever any of that I just mean how's it going for her and I think she got a bit jaded and a bit bored and felt that life really wasn't she possibly wasn't expressing herself like she needed to. She's a very creative person and I don't think she's been expressing her creativity enough either. But that's me as creativity coach um, having a little pep talk to her. Not that she will ever hear, of course. So what's coming next in her healing, in her public appearances, in her life? As far as this goes, two of wands in reverse. Not ready to go. Staying in comfort zone. She's not going to be out and about there are no plans the two of ones is about plans and she's not ready she's not going to be ready for a while um two uh, two of wands um i'm getting two months with that card although ones are not strictly months in far as far as tarot timing and counting goes which is always a bit erratic well where i'm concerned anyway but i'm guessing it's gonna it's gonna take a while it's going to take couple of months before she's actually ready to get back in action and that would take us to May, June uh, from where we are now. How is she seeing things? How is she viewing the situation herself? Justice um, is about needing, I think she honestly does feel she needs justice. Uh, it's more than just I need to be back in equilibrium and things are a bit out of alignment and maybe hormones are a bit out of whack or her system, her physical system is out of whack, uh, which you could read into the justice card when you're dealing with um, a medical condition, surgery. It's more than that for me. She wants justice for herself. And I, it's a consistent theme. I'm, I'm banging the same old drum here that she feels that she needs um, to be treated more fairly by the royals. Um, it's a, it's a, it, this is a huge card. It's, it, it's by far the biggest card in this reading. And that's, uh, it, I need apologies. I need protection. I need to be able to express myself. I need to be able to stand up for myself. If you're not going to stand up for me, then I need to be able to stand up for myself. It's all there in that card. Pressure is she under? Five of Pentacles is uh, an illness card. Um, they for sure aren't broke. Five of Pentacles, so never mind that. Um, it, it's isolation card as well. Five of Pentacles has, has a bit of a hermit energy sometimes. Um, just being out of comfort away from the place that's safe and secure, which would be your physical health in this case, her, her physical health, five of pentacles, um, is illness. You can see there, they are struggling physically. They're out in the blizzard, out in the cold, out of the, 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 the safety and security of that warm um, sanctuary within. And so it's, it's her, her she's, she's under pressure physically still. 
Uh, but I think feeling alone, feeling isolated, because it's a very lonely card, the Five of Pentacles, that um, it, 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 the, the, the stained glass window is church and and spirituality and meaning and all that kind of stuff as well. So she could be feeling that she's really questioning her life and her her belief system and things like that, not finding that she's getting answers. And ill health can make you start to question those things if you haven't. Um, it's one of those kinds of triggers. Bit of a dark night of the soul energy in here. I don't want to uh, be too gloomy and um, make everyone miserable. But the Five of Pentacles can have that kind of a vibe. And I'm feeling a bit of it here. Um, I'm, I'm getting a turning around from really grim energy to not so grim energy in this reading. Uh, just by the way. Um, so hopes and fears for her right now. Uh, what's... Uh, we got the Nine of Wands in River, it's showing up again, it showed up in the Uncle Gary reading. Um, she's worried that she's just not as resilient as she needs to be, um, that it's, 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 the healing isn't going to go as well as she wants it to go. And I saw in the reading that I did recently on her, the timeline for her in terms of healing and getting back into her life as a working royal, that she was going to push herself and she was going to find that it was frustrating and slower than she expected for someone who I think always in her life has been very physically fit and able that this is probably quite a shock to her and that this is the nine of wands that she is going to go through periods or, or she's worried that she's going to not get back to full health um, uh, and it's understandable it's not saying that she isn't going to get back to full health but it's just she's in that phase of frustration and and feeling quite weak and vulnerable still um, outcome, and we're really talking about this uh, out there, back in circulation vibe. We've got the Two of Cups. Um, for me, that is about her relationship with the public more than her relationship with her obvious, her husband, her partner, Prince William. Um, but it's a relief to see that there is there is a slow turning of energy that's turning into better energy here for her um that uh, if there have been difficulties in the marriage that three of swords of course and the five of wands tells me that there probably have been conflicts and some hurts and things normal uh in most uh, relationships and they have those moments it's going to be resolved and also she's going to be back and the public is going to be very, very pleased to see her. She's going to reform that connection with the public. I now have my two of cups that I was feeling in the two of wands. That is two months. So I think we've got our, uh, our waiting period is, is going to drag on longer than Easter. I think that was the very earliest marker that they could possibly give us. And Easter is, of course, early this year. So I think two of cups, I think two months at least before she feels strong enough and confident enough to get out and about again. And the public are really going to feel very um, emotional when she does finally get out and about. Uh, with that two of cups, it's going to form a very powerful emotional bond with her. I think the, it was already on its way to being formed. But I think this time out and this worry and when everyone is really learning to appreciate her, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, they need to appreciate her much more than they do. I think they are going to start to see how valuable she is and how much they really feel uh, in terms of affection and love for her. So there it is somewhat better energy let's hope that it keeps going in that direction i think there will be setbacks so if there are readings in the next few weeks and months that aren't quite so happy in terms of outcome don't be surprised and don't be too worried that's it for now and thank you for watching i'll see you again tomorrow